beautiful. It's very That's very beautiful. appropriate for that guitar. Yes, yes. It almost even has a Christmassy kind of feel to it. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it was. It's, um, it's, it's festive. It is festive. Yes. Well, it's beautiful too. Quentin mm -hmm. King here, Paul here at Music Villa in Bozeman, Montana, checking out what we're calling an arts and crafts. This is a Martin. It's a custom built that they do. Okay, this is I think the third rendition of this mm -hmm. series mm -hmm. called Arts and Crafts, and. Uh, you know, we'll probably put a little story of it on our website and you mm -hmm. can kind of read all about it. I think yeah. back in the 1800s, there was, you know, in, in the Industrial Revolution. Right. Well, so something about, well, you know, products and you know, typical consumer goods were being mass manufactured. Things yeah. that were traditionally produced uh, by hands, by craftsmen and artisans. Yeah. And uh, so there was a pushback against that with this arts and crafts movement to uh, recognize the uh, the value that true craftsmen and artisans bring right. to, you know, unique products. Yep. That I could see it because I've been back to Martin and you mm -hmm. see that area there and you see the steel mills and the entire, mm -hmm. that's where that whole yeah, industrial well, revolution was happening. Right. And then you got these guys in their shops, you know, creating Making guitars. Out. I mean, they're building yeah. guitars. They don't even have power at, the, at some point, you know. <laughs> yeah. And then in the 1800s, all of a sudden now there's like this massive. Yeah, well, I mean, it's always been the trade-off of, you know, the companies like Martin, they, they generate high quality instruments because they've they've got this you know process and production capacity yeah, yeah so that brings the economy of scale instruments can be more affordable yeah but on the flip side of that you know the true artisanship and craftsmanship is still available yeah. uh, at, a, at a at the cost that represents right. yeah. the the uh, you know the artisans commitment yep. to their craft so and it's beautiful I, yeah. I have to admit and you know me I like this kind of stuff mm -hmm. I just think it's a gorgeous design Beautiful inlays. It really, you it's know, a limited run. Obviously, I, I've, I've, I'm on the record as saying I'm not much into guitar bling. Right. You know, it's just not what draws me uh, typically. But yeah. that said, I still can appreciate a beautiful yes instrument yeah. when I see one. And this is obviously this you wouldn't go take beautiful. this to a gig. You would no. You know, no. This I is wouldn't a let my kids play this. Uh, it's a beautiful guitar, and it yeah. would probably want to stay in the home. And yeah, this you'd one's not stare at it every day. And yeah, no, this this I but you know. To its credit, like a lot of the instruments that we talk about being very pretty, uh, it it fits well on a wall as a display, yeah. but it still sounds nice. Yeah. It's totally functional. It's got a nice sound. It's The back is German white oak. I don't think we've ever had a guitar with oak yeah. on the back and sides, but it sounds great, and it looks beautiful. It is beautiful. I There'll be some the nice close-up shots, yep. the inlay, the little... Uh, the back stripe, but yeah, on the heel cap. Cap, yeah, yeah, it's just gorgeous. It has a very Art deco -y kind of... Feel to yep. me. I think I they did a great job. Yep. I'm a big fan of it. Let's uh, go on here. We'll just let you hear it and uh, we'll uh, listen to you play some Christmas music. <laughs> I don't know how much Christmas music I right, well, Thanks, uh, Quentin. Yeah, you I bet. appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. So I'm just going to, for, for the strum part that we typically do in these uh, little demo parts, I'm just using the fleshy part of my thumb because of the detail and the ornamentation here. I don't even want to risk striking any of this with a pick and leaving any blemishes. So 